Hey guys, so as some of you know, I've been working on a review video for these inverters. This is not that video, actually. <laughs> actually, this video is going to cover really quick um, what I have been doing and planning to alleviate some of the mess here, to clean up the wiring, and to make room for future expansion. So this was step one, cleaning everything up. I bought a 8 by 8 by 6 foot wireway. And it's actually a little bit overkill. I didn't need to get it that large necessarily, but I wanted to be able to fit everything uh, I could in it, my fuses, uh, my T-class fuses and everything in there. Um, so I, I got it a little extra large. Um, and it was at a local supp uh, electrical supply place. Uh, online, they, they're pretty pricey. So I don't have any good links to share with you guys other than say, keep an eye on eBay. So the next step was getting these bus bars from Signature Solar. And I'm surprised I haven't heard more chatter about them because for the price and the stats, they really can't be beat. Uh, up until now, I've been using bus bars from Current Connected, and I really like those. Uh, they're a great price, um, but they were limited in the, in the sense that... Uh, so they're a little bit prettier than these, but they're limited in the sense that they only have four studs on them and they are 300 amp max. So I could have linked two together. I needed one more stud now, but uh, rather than do that and still be limited to that 300 amp max, which works for my system, it's right at, you know, there's enough headroom there. But these are 600 amp. Uh, they're really beefy. They are not, maybe not as pretty, right? They're a little bit more utilitarian. Um, but they, they get the job done. These are 600 amp and there's 12 studs on them. They are 5 sixteenths. Um, and I believe, I'm going to put everything I mentioned here in the description, but I believe the torque specs on these, I've, been, I've talked with tech support about this at Signature Solar, that they're going to use the same torque specs on these as they would the smaller bolts on the cabinets. So I'll put those torque specs down below. Uh, these are uh, great bus bars, though, again, for what you can do with them. So this would be something you would use on a medium to large system even. Um, and they, you know, they're gonna, they work great in wireways or just really wherever you're going to want to use them. Uh, so in mine, they're going to work super nice. My positive is going to be here, negatives there. Still plenty of room in the wireway. You know, enough room for my T-class fuses and all that. So if I ever wanted to go larger than these, I would probably um, go with the, I don't know, maybe a terminal block from Overkill Solar. They have a 1,000 amp bus bar. Uh, so that's, that's some major stuff there. Or a Lynx distributor from Victron. You know, that's also really nice uh, bus bar. Also, but these I think are going to give me plenty of headroom for quite some time and plenty of room to expand with whatever I need. So that should work out great for me. Uh, the last thing I purchased was more of these glands. I really like these little things. I get these off Amazon, but this, uh, this is just going to be for my DC. So all of my larger cables uh, running to the inverter and to the battery bank. I will just use these to drill through and clamp closed on the um, cables. And uh, yeah, that's going to be about it. I uh, hopefully can get this video out soon. I've been waiting on a few things to get this started, but I'm, I've been anxious to clean everything up. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I will be releasing a video on these really soon. Feel free to leave any questions down below or any comments as long as they're not criticisms. Thanks for watching.